Hi guys, Sharper back once again with another Mint in Box for TokuToysStore.com And today we are continuing our look at the new Bandai Thunderbirds Algo range with Motion Tech Thunderbird 2. And I have to say Thunderbird 2 has always been one of my big favourites of the Thunderbirds line up until this incarnation when they added Thunderbird S. But... Right now, we're looking at Thunderbird 2 and Thunderbird 4, because we do get a little, little tiny one to go into the pod, which is great. I wish we saw more of the pod vehicles in this, in the previous range from Vivid Imaginations, because I have the uh, little mole diecast thing from Tomica. And I really like that thing, but I don't think it fits with this. I think it's slightly too big. I think it might be in scale with the next size up. I don't know, but we'll get, we'll get back to that at some point, no doubt. We've got vital stats of Virgil Tracy, Thunderbird 2's pilot. And that's kind of your luck, because I'm going to be running down everything here in a second. But we need to get this big security strap off unleash Thunderbird 4 and get to the tour review proper and here we have Thunderbird 2 and 4 out of the package and I can confirm these are straight remolds of the Vivid Imaginations toys but with the added bonus of Thunderbird 2 having motion tech sensors in it because It's got that little ball bearing sound in it again. So yeah, that is the motion tech. But I really like the toy design overall. Thunderbird 2 has always been a big favorite of mine and the 2015 redesign really, really endeared itself to me because it's not a weird smooth shape anymore. It's a box. It's a box on tiny wings because Thunderbird 2 is a cargo plane at the end of the day. It is the workhorse of the Thunderbirds team and it needs to be heavy duty and it needs to get where it's going. So it chugs along looking like a brick with tiny wings. And I'm fine with that. I really like this redesign. But it keeps everything that is quintessential about Thunderbird 2. It's got the spoiler. It's got the rounded nose cockpit. It's got the two tiny engines at the back. It's got the pod bay, and it's got flip out legs. Great little action feature, that always liked it. And yeah, it can stand up like that, and if we press this button here, the pod drops out. It's got wheels, it rolls, and it can open up to fit Thunderbird 4 inside. We'll take a look at Thunderbird 4, and this is where I really noticed that this was the Vivid Imaginations mould. Because it's got a particular feel to it. It's the same plastic density and everything. It weighs the same. This thing will not float in water. It will sink right to the bottom. Because I remember testing that out for myself. And if I remember rightly, these windows were painted on the Vivid version, so... Bandai, you're losing points there. I think these might have been as well, but I'm I'm struggling to remember. But I know for sure that these were, which is a shame. And there's a big dirty smudge mark on it, which isn't great. But overall, I do like Thunderbird 4's overall design. I like all the little details on it. It's overall a really good rendition. And of course, it can just scoot right into the pod bay. All nice and cosy. Shame it doesn't have a four on it. But the Vivid one didn't either. Because it would probably scratch up. Going into the pod bay here. We just close his legs up. Unfurl the wings. And activate the motion tech. Which is with this sound button here. Which thankfully isn't as sensitive as the Thunderbird one version so
and it will cycle through a variety of voice clips. And you can turn it off like so, when it doesn't make any noise anymore. There is a variety of sound clips in there. I think there is one missing, or it's just as elusive as it was in the Vivid version, which talks to Thunderbird 4, and I could never figure out how to get it to trigger. It was always seemingly random. Like, I could never figure out how to do it. But it works for just fine. The motion tech works and the voice clips are fairly good. Overall, I'm really impressed with Bandai's reinvigoration of the Thunderbirds Argo line. And I'm glad to see these guys hitting shelves once again because these are fantastic toys. I really had a lot of fun reliving playing with them again. And you can pick up your version of the Motion Tech Thunderbird 2 from tokutoystore.com for $11.99, which I think is a fantastic price. As always, I've been Sharpo. This has been the Motion Tech Thunderbird 2 from Thunderbirds Are Go. And I'll catch you guys next time for another Mint in Box. Yeah.